your alarm goes off. You roll over, trying to sneak in a few more minutes of hard-earned sleep before finally having to get up. You go to school, maybe you rush off to grab some breakfast, some lunch, sit through some classes, do some work. We all live the ordinary, day after day, but life's not about where we come from, who we are, or even where we're going. It's about the everyday actions that we take to inch our world towards a better and healthier place. The summer of our seventh and eighth grade year, my sister and I had the privilege of traveling to Ethiopia and Kenya and spent the summer there working. We encountered a couple of amazing people uh, who became very close to family. One person who I became particularly close with was a mama from a rural vill village in Kenya, Mama Jane and we had the privilege of going on a water walk with her that she does every day. And we were on the walk carrying 60 pound jerry can full of water with a rope around our heads. And I walk up next to her and I look at her and I say, Mama Jane, how many times a day do you do this? And she looks back at me and she says, five to six times a day. Now this was no stroll down the park, this was a six mile walk on treacherous terrain. And so I knew that in my mind, I was gonna go back to a completely different reality, whereas Mama Jane was gonna stay in that reality of walking to get water, often polluted every day unless we did something to change. So when we came back to America, our family decided that we needed to make change. And thus, we, we did a lot of research, and then Nika Water was born. And Nika Water is an eco-friendly bottled water company that donates 100% of its profits to ha helping people around the world get clean water. So Nika is our passion. But we're here today to help you, give you the tools you need in order to start your own something like Nika Water, your own social entrepreneurship. Because we at Nika believe that there is a coming wave of social entrepreneurship, something that is totally going to revolutionize the way that business and the nonprofit world works in our society. Before we can catch the wave and make change, we must first understand our world, the problems, solutions, and resources we have. $13 billion. No child will ever go to bed hungry. $20 billion, the amount of money that Europe alone will spend this year on ice cream. $9 billion, every person will have access to clean, safe drinking water. $12 billion, the amount of money that Europe and US combined will spend on perfume this year. $9 billion, every person will have access to a basic education. $9 billion, the amount of money that Europe alone will spend on cosmetics this year. Now, these slides aren't meant to make us feel guilty or tell us to stop buying ice cream because I will keep on buying ice cream, I love ice cream. Not so much makeup, but I'll keep on buying ice cream. <laughs> but these slides are to tell us that we are the first generation that has the resources to truly make change. The, res the resources are available, now we must tap into those resources before we can make change. But in order to do that, we need to dispel something that chains our society, that chains our generation from doing change, making good. That's the difference between relative poverty and absolute poverty. Just a few little words. How many people in here have ever heard said, or even said themselves, I'm so poor? It's a phrase that seems so simple, it seems well-deserved for so many people, but when we think about it, what is poverty? Poverty is what billions of people face every day all around the world. It's the idea that you don't know when your next meal is going to be, you don't know where you're gonna sleep tonight, and you don't know how to live on less than a dollar a day every day of your life. And there's no chance of getting out. That's absolute poverty. That's what people all around the world face. And we here in North America define poverty by not having the latest iPhone, not living in the right neighborhood. What do these things mean? Nothing in the grand scheme. We need to learn that we have far more to give than we might think, whether it's in manpower or financial aid. But the best part is that there is a new model to solve societal challenges, a model that doesn't require our money, that requires our time, our effort, and our passion instead, and that is social entrepreneurship. Social entrepreneurship is a fusion between for-profit businesses and nonprofit charities. For-profit businesses create value for the shareholders by selling products. Nonprofit charities run by fundraising are dedicated to certain causes and programs. Social entrepreneurship is a fusion of the two, where you sell something and either some or all of the profits go to a cause. Some great examples of these social entrepreneurships that Nina just talked about are Tom's Shoes, Shoes for Good. I'm sure a lot of you guys are wearing Tom's Shoes right now. Tom's Shoes ensures that for every pair of shoes you buy from them, 
they will donate a pair to someone in the devel developing world in need. Nika Water, like we talked about, Nika's an eco Nika is an eco-friendly water bottle company that, that donates uh, profits to helping bring clean water to people. Newman's Own, all profits for charity. Newman's Own started by donating all profits, uh, something as simple as salad dressing, and they've expanded to commodities such as dog food and pasta sauce. Just by being a conscious consumer, you're choosing to save our world and to make for a better tomorrow. But my brother and I, we're optimists, sometimes annoyingly so. So we believe that all of us in here can be more than just smart consumers. We believe that every single one of us has the power to start our own social entrepreneurships, the power to revolutionize the way that our generation gives back to the world in a sustainable way. Could you imagine if all of us start our own social entrepreneurships, our own businesses that give back, businesses like Tom's? Ten years from now, everything will be changed. People will have sustainable differences. No projects will have to be half started and half finished anymore. So we're going to give you the six steps to significance. Now, just a disclaimer, these steps take effort, they take drive, and they take passion, which is the first step. And the most important, find your passion. You'll know it because when you hear about it, maybe it's animal rights, maybe it's uh, education. When you hear about it, you won't be able to stop thinking about it. You'll be sick over it. You'll be impassioned by it. Find your passion. One of my favorite stories is of a good friend of mine who was very passionate about soccer and also about the fact that children in the developing world who wanted to further their education couldn't because at night, once it got dark, they had no light to do their homework by. So he did a lot of research and he found a college that had created a ball called Socket, which when you kick it around, it's a soccer ball, when you kick it around, it gains energy that later that night can be converted into a lamp so children can study by. So he did a lot of research, talked to coordinators of different soccer tournaments, and got them to agree to donate a certain percentage of their profits for every soccer tournament in his neighborhood. So he took the money from California to buy the soccer balls from Massachusetts, to donate the money in India, to give children there something to play with, and a way to study and further their education. Now, none of that story would have been possible without the second step, which is educate yourself so you can educate others. We must first educate ourselves on the problems, solutions, and resources before moving forward. Then, create awareness. Wear a t-shirt for your cause. <laughs> Put up flyers, make a Facebook group, do whatever it takes to get the word out. Be annoying, be insistent. Don't let anyone let you not speak. Be active. Don't wait for someone to take action. Take matters into your own hands now. Get out there. Be persistent. Don't let anyone ever tell you that you can't because you can. And then, the step that daunts most people, you have to volunteer. You have to either raise money or give manpower. Whatever it is, whatever your currency, you can do it. But you're going to have to give a lot of yourself, your time, your effort, into supporting your cause. And finally, develop a business plan and seek funding. Start with an outline. Write down any great ideas you have along the way. Seek advice from people in your community. Your passion is infectious, but it's nothing without organization. We must all take well-calculated risks in order to truly change the world. But the best part is, you get to do this on your own terms. Whether you want to work in a business or work in a nonprofit, and then a few years down the road start your own social entrepreneurship with the skills that you gained, or whether you want to start today, right now, you can do it. Because there are so many businesses and organizations that want to help you. The Skoll Foundation, Draper Richards, Echoing Green, Terra Viva Grants, these are just a few examples. They'll give up to $750,000 to students who come with business plans and want to start their own nonprofits, for profits, or social entrepreneurships. Google and YouTube will give you free advertising. There are so many ways that with your organization, you can get help. So, our challenge to you is be courageous. Courage is daring to take the first step or a different path. It's the decision to place your dreams above your fears. As my favorite author, Dr. Seuss, once said, be who you are and say what you feel, because those who mind won't matter, and those who matter won't mind. Paddle out. Catch the coming wave. Do it on your own terms. Create something that will last long beyond all of us. If one person in this room goes home, identifies their passion, and truly makes a difference, it makes change, there'll be another person somewhere across the, other, across the side of the globe doing the same thing, and another person, and another person, and another person, and another person. Now, instead of just one person trying to change the world, we've now created a global network of people who are changing the world, who care, and who are really making a difference for a better tomorrow. So thank you for your time. We hope to catch you out on the wave. Thanks for stopping by, San Diego. You stay classy. <laughs> <laughs>